What is the Contract for International Sale of Goods, or CISG? Well, to start with, this is a model law used in international transactions to provide the terms of agreement between the parties. So if we're going to do a contract in the United States, for example, generally the local law will apply. The same way in most other countries, the local law will apply to that agreement. The scenario becomes slightly more complex if you're going to have agreements between parties from different countries. As such, you need to identify or designate the rules that will apply to the interpretation and formation of that agreement. With that being said, that is the purpose of the CISG. Now, the CISG is also referred to as the Vienna Convention, signed in 1988. But what it is, is a model law created through a subgroup of the United Nations, right? The United Nations Convention on International Trade Law is the group that came up with the CISG with the purpose of facilitating cross-border transactions. Now, the CISG is very broad. It has tons of provisions that relate in the exact same way, if you are familiar with U.S. law, to the Uniform Commercial Code or the Restatement of Contracts, where it provides for things like offer acceptance, performance, um, requirements for interpretation or enforceability, remedies for failure to comply with the terms of the agreement, things like that. All of these provisions equally are present under the CISG. Now, the benefit of the CISG is that it provides a framework where otherwise no singular framework exists. Now, the CISG is popular in many, many commercial transactions between any number of nations, but it is generally considered to be the standard or go-to provisions for contracts between parties from signatory or contracting states. There are approximately 89, depending on how you look at it, 87 to 89 member states that have signed on to the CISG as, again, the governing model law for international contracts. Of course, countries that are not signatories, uh, individuals from those countries making transactions with individuals from countries that are signatories, will oftentimes adopt the CISG as the model law for the agreement. So with that being said, it promotes international exchange or sale of goods based upon this common understanding of the rules that are applicable to the transaction.